Mama K. K. Shema. Recording in progress. Om Magyana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chatsurun Militanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Vancha Kaupatar Bhyascha Kripa Sindhu Vayevacha Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadarhar Shri Vasade Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So we're reading the Krishna book and we're on chapter 89, the super excellent powers of Lord Krishna. So we're hearing about how a Brahmana in Dwarka had the unfortunate situation that his wife was meant to deliver a child but every time at the occasion of the delivery of the child, the child would disappear. So this happened eight times and every time the Brahmana would come and complain to the king in Dwarka that this is your responsibility, you should protect my child. So it happened that on the ninth time the Brahmana came to complain, to, or, or the eighth time the Brahmana came there to the palace in Dwarka to complain that his child had disappeared at birth. And at that time Arjuna was there. And Arjuna became, ups, he became angry to hear the Brahmana criticize the Kshatriya kings. So Arjuna vowed that the next time the Brahmana's wife would deliver a child, he vowed he would personally be there to protect the child. And Arjuna promised, he said, if I am not able to protect your child, he said, I will enter into blazing fire. So Arjuna said that by entering into the fire, the sinful contamination which must have affected me will be counteracted. Arjuna said, if I do not so upon he, when, when the Brahmana heard Arjuna speak in this way, then the Brahmana said to Arjuna, he said, Lord Balaram is, is present here in Dwarka, but he could not protect my children. Um, 
妈也在德尔卡，她也她却无法保护我的孩子。And Lord Krishna is also present here, but he also did not give them any protection. 主 Krishna 也在此，他也无法保护这些孩子。And there are many other heroes here in Dwarka, like Prajumna and Aniruddha, who carry bows and arrows, but they could not protect my children. The, so the Brahmana was saying to Arjuna that. He, that he he the Brahmana considered that it was impossible. If it, he was saying that it, if it was impossible for the Supreme Lord, how would it be possible for Arjuna? So he, the Brahmana thought that Arjuna was promising something which was really beyond his power. So the Brahmana said, "I consider your promise to be like that of an inexperienced child." I cannot put my faith in your promise. So Arjuna then understood that the Brahmana had lost all faith in the Shatriya kings. Arjuna 明白。So Arjuna wanted to encourage the Brahmana. So Arjuna criticized his friend Lord Krishna. 嗯，为了鼓励婆罗门，而朱娜说了些批评 Krishna 的话。And what Lord Krishna was was there, and he was listening to what Arjuna was saying. So Arjuna said to the Brahman, he said, "My dear Brahman, I am not Sankarshan, nor am I Krishna, nor am I one of Krishna's sons like Prajumna and Aniruddha." Arjuna 就说，嗯，我不是 Sankarshan， 也不是 Krishna。My name is Arjuna, and I carry the bow known as Gandiva. You cannot insult me. I have satisfied even Lord Shiva by my prowess. One time we were both hunting in the forest, and I had a fight with Lord Shiva. At that time, Lord Shiva appeared before me as a hunter. And when I satisfied him by my fighting skill, he gave me the weapon known as Pashupata. So do not. You should have no doubt about my ability. I will bring back your sons, even if I have to fight with death personified. I will bring back your sons, even if I have to fight with death personified. I will bring back your sons, even if I have to fight with death personified. I will bring back your sons, even if I have to fight with death personified. I will bring back your sons, even if I have to fight with death personified. I will bring back your sons, even if I have
，纵使与死神的化身一战，也在所不惜。So Arjuna spoke very convincingly, and the Brahmana was was also convinced. Arjuna 说话的语气如此的自信，婆罗门也被说服了。And、so then the Brahmana went home. 婆罗门就回了家。So after some time, the Brahmana's wife was to give birth to another child. 过一段时间。婆罗门的 Brahmana 的妻子行将分娩。So the Brahmana began to chant. He began to chant, "My dear Arjuna, please come now and save my child." Brahmana 便唱诵道：“亲爱的阿朱纳，请前来拯救我的孩子。”And tell him, "Please come now and save my child." 哦，请现在就来。请来救救我的孩子吧。So after he, when he had, when Arjuna heard him, Arjuna immediately prepared himself. 当阿朱纳听到婆罗门的话之后，便立刻做好了准备。He touched sanctified water and he uttered holy mantras to protect his bow and arrows. 他触碰了圣洁的水，念诵了神圣的 mantra 来保护他的弓箭。Mm. He he then took the arrow presented to him by Lord Shiva. 他随后拿起了主 Shiva 送给他的箭。And when he was going out, he remembered Lord Shiva. And his great favor. When he went out, he remembered Shiva Shiva and Shiva Shiva's favor. So Arjuna came in front of the maternity home where the Brahmana's wife was supposed to deliver the child. Hmm. Arjuna then brought these weapons to the maternity home. And he came with his bow, which is called Gandiva. And with other weapons. He 带着鸣叫、干低瓦的剑，还有其他的武器。So Arjuna didn't leave Dwarka because he had to keep his promise to protect the Brahmana's child. Arjuna 没有离开多尔卡，因为他必须要履行保护婆罗门儿子的承诺。So the Brahmana called him. When the Brahmana called him, it was already night. The Brahmana's wife was about to give birth to the child. When Brahmana called Arjuna, it was already night. The Brahmana's wife was about to give birth to the child. So the Brahmana called him. When the So when he was going to the maternity home to 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 attend the the delivery of the child of the 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 the, the to the the delivery of the Brahm, Brahmana's wife, at that time Arjuna remembered Lord Shiva. 嗯，当阿朱纳来到产房。来到产房前，婆罗门的妻子就行行将，嗯，临盆。这时候，阿朱纳想在途中想起了主 Shiva。Now, he he didn't think of Krishna because he thought Krishna could not give protection to the Brahmana, so he thought it's better to take shelter of Shiva. 阿朱纳没有想。没有想着 Krishna， 因为他觉得 Krishna 保护不了 Brahmana， 所以他便脱避于主 Shiva 神。So this is an example of how a person sometimes takes shelter of the demigods. 这是世人如何寻求半世人庇护的另一例子。In the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna says. 
a person who has lost his intelligence because of greed forgets the Supreme Lord. Yeah, because of greed, and he lost his intelligence. Because of greed and lust, he forgot Krishna. They take shelter of the demigods. So Arjuna is not an ordinary person, but because he has friendly dealings with Krishna. Arjuna is not an ordinary person, but because he has friendly dealings with Krishna. He thought that Krishna was not able to give protection to the Brahmana. So he thought it would be better to remember Lord Shiva. Hmm. But we will see in this in this pastime. Arjuna taking shelter of Shiva instead of Krishna was not a success. But Arjuna was chanting different mantras and he shot arrows up and down to guard the maternity home from all the directions. So the Brahmana's wife delivered a male child, and as usual, the child began to cry. But then within a few minutes, the, the child and Arjuna's arrows disappeared into the sky. So it seems that the Brahmana's house was near to Krishna's residence. And Lord Krishna was enjoying everything that was taking place. <laughs> he saw how Arjuna was not acting according to Krishna's authority. He was acting against Krishna's authority. And it was Krishna who played the trick of taking away the Brahmana's baby as well as the arrows. And Krishna also took away the arrow which was given by Lord Shiva, which Arjuna was so proud of. So in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, that the less intelligent people will take shelter of the demigods. So 
they are satisfied. Less intelligent people are satisfied with temporary benefits which the demigods give. Mm. So in the presence of Lord Krishna and, and other people, the Brahmana began to choose began to accuse Arjuna. And he said, he announced to everyone, he said, just see my stupidity. I put my faith in the words of Arjuna. But now I see he has no potency and he is expert only in false promises. I was foolish to believe Arjuna. He promised to protect my child. I told him, even Prajumna and Aniruddha, Lord Balaram and Lord Krishna had failed. Now, if such great personalities could not protect my child, then who can protect my child? I condemn Arjuna for his false promise. And I also condemn his great bow, the Gandiva. And I and I see I see how impudent, how foolish he was to declare that he was greater than Lord Balaram and Lord Krishna and Prajumna and Aniruddha. No one can save my child. My child has already been transferred to another planet. Mm. It's it was foolish, it was only foolish of Arjuna to think that he could bring back my child from another planet. Arjuna, you may so be. So he was condemned by the Arjuna was condemned by the Brahmana. So Arjuna arranged he he got the power by mystic yoga so that he could travel to any planet to look for the Brahmana's babies. Mystic yogis have the power so that they can travel to different planets and it seems like Arjuna also had that power. So he went first to the planet of Yamaraj, where Lord Yamar, where Lord Yamaraj lives, Yamaloka. Arjuna 
So he said he he looked there for the babies, but he was not able to find them. So then he immediately went to the planet where the King of Heaven Indra lives. And he couldn't find the babies there either. So then he went to the planet of the fire demi, the god of fire. And then he went to the planet of the demigod called Niriti. And then to the moon planet. And he went to Vayuloka, the planet of the wind god. And to Varuna Loka, the planet, the place of the god of the ocean. But wherever he went, he couldn't find the babies of the Brahmana. So he went down to the lowest planet in the universe, the Rasatala planet. And finally he went to Brahma Loka, which is the top planet where even mystic yogis cannot go. But Arjuna, by the grace of Krishna, he had the power and he went, he went to that planet, he went above the heavenly planets to Brahma Loka. But he was still not able to find the babies. He was searching everywhere. He couldn't find them. So then he attempted, he thought, I, I will just have to give up my life. I will have to enter into fire. He had promised the Brahmana that if he could not get the baby for the Brahmana, if he could not protect the baby for the Brahmana, he would give up his life. But Lord Krishna was very kind to Arjuna because Arjuna is his very dear friend. So Lord Krishna talked to Arjuna and he told him, you don't need to enter the fire. He said, Arjuna, Arjuna, Arjuna was his friend. So if he was to enter the fire, it would be, it would, it would not be good for Lord Krishna. And Lord Krishna told Arjuna, he said, don't worry, he said, I will go, we will go, I'll take you and we will go and find the babies. Do not commit suicide. So then Arjuna, uh, then Lord Krishna, Lord Krishna called for his own chariot, which is a very special transcendental chariot. And he took Arjuna on the chariot, Lord Krishna and Arjuna together, 
they went on the chariot and they went in the north direction. Now Lord Krishna is the Supreme Lord. If he wanted, he could have brought the child back without any trouble. But Lord Krishna is playing the part of a human being. So in the human beings, they, have to, they always have to endeavor to do things. So Lord Krishna, just like an ordinary person, he also wanted to show endeavor. So together Krishna and Arjuna left Dwarka to go to bring back the Brahmana's baby. So Lord Krishna uh, showed that there was no person greater than him. We say God is great. So that is how we define the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So, within the material world, when Lord Krishna was present, Krishna proved that there was no greater personality within the universe. So Lord Krishna was seated on his chariot with Arjuna and together they proceeded north and they crossed over many planetary systems. These different planetary systems are described in the Srimad Bhagavatam. And these different planetary systems are described as islands. And in Sanskrit, the word is dvipa. Dvipa, just like Nava dweep. So dweep means island. So the planet on which we are living is it's also an island. It's called Jambu dweep. And outer space is like a great ocean of air. And in that air there are many different islands. And the different planets are there on each of the islands. Yeah, each and every on each and every planet you have also oceans. On some of the planets, the oceans are salt water. 
在一些星宿上，星宿上是咸水海洋。And on some of them, there's ocean of milk. 而有些则是牛奶之洋。And other, there's an ocean of liquor. 其他的有酒酒之洋。And on another, there's an ocean of ghee or oil. 在另一个星宿上有酥油之羊和呃油的油之羊。And there are also different kinds of mountains. 那里有多种山山峦。And each and every planet has a different type of atmosphere. 每一星宿都有不同种类的大气。So Lord Krishna, along with Arjuna, they passed over all these planets and reached the covering of the universe. So Krishna and Arjuna, 经过所有这些星体，抵达了宇宙的外壳。So this covering is described in Srimad Bhagavatam. It's described as a great darkness. The material world is all described as dark. In an open space, then you get sunlight. But when there's when you're in a covering, because there's no sunlight, so it's always dark. So when Lord Krishna approached that covering of the universe. The four horses which were pulling his chariot, they they hesitated because of the darkness. Um, when Krishna's chariot came to the covering of the universe, um, he pulled his chariot. He was a little afraid. 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 Yet Lord Krishna has special horses to pull his chariot, can pull it into space. To Krishna, the 战车的马马匹是特殊的，可以把它把他的战车拉到太空当中。The the horses all have nice names. 这些马。One horse is called Saib, Saibia. 一匹马的名字叫 Saibia. Another horse is called Sugriva. 另一匹马叫 Sugriva. Another horse is called Mega Pushpa. 另一匹马叫 Mega Pushpa. And another horse is Balahaka. So they all hesitated to enter the darkness. They 们对要进入黑暗都有点迟疑不决。But this hesitation of the horses, this is part of the pastime of Lord Krishna. 嗯，但是这些马匹有点迟疑。Yeah, these horses are not ordinary. These horses are not ordinary. Ordinary horses cannot go all over the universe. Ordinary horses cannot enter into the covering of the universe. Ordinary horses cannot enter into the covering of the universe. So just as Krishna is transcendental, his chariot and his horses, and everything about him are also transcendental. 正如 Krishna 是超然的，他的车、马、马匹和所有的一切都是超然的。
他的马匹、战车和与他有关的一切都是超然的。Means they're beyond the qualities of the material world. 意味着他们超然于物质世界的品质。We have to always remember Krishna is playing the part of an ordinary human being. We must always remember that Krishna is playing the part of an ordinary human being. And his horses, also by the will of Krishna, played the part of ordinary horses. And by the will of Krishna, his horses, also by the will of Krishna, played the part of ordinary horses. And by the will of Krishna, his horses, also by the will of Krishna, played the part of ordinary horses. And、that's the reason why the horses hesitated to enter the darkness. This is this. This is why they hesitated to enter the darkness. Lord Krishna is known as Yogeshwara, the master of yoga. To Krishna, you are called Yogeshwara, the master of yoga. He's described like that in the final verse of the Bhagavad Gita. That all mystic powers are under Krishna's control. So we can see many human beings who have mystic power. We can see that some people have mystic power. And sometimes people can perform wonderful acts. Some people can perform wonderful acts. But Krishna is the master of all mystic power. But Krishna is the master of all mystic power. So when he saw the horses hesitate to go into the darkness, then at that time he released his Sudarshan chakra. When he saw the horses hesitate to go into the darkness, then at that time he released his Sudarshan chakra. When he saw the And the the Sudarshan chakra lit up the sky a thousand times brighter than the sun. Sudarshan chakra 照亮了天际，比太阳光还亮，呃，千倍。The darkness. The darkness covering the universe is also a creation of Krishna. And the Sudarshan Chakra is Krishna's constant companion. And Sudarshan Chakra, 神蝶是 Krishna 的永永远的陪伴。So in this way, Krishna penetrated the darkness of the universe by keeping the Sudarshan Chakra in front of him. Just 这样，就 Krishna 让 Sudarshan Chakra 神蝶开路，从而穿穿越了黑暗。In the Srimad Bhagavatam, it describes that. The Sudarshan Chakra penetrated the darkness, just like an arrow fired from the saranga bow of Lord Ramachandra. Lord Ramachandra had this. Special bow, which he used when he was fighting the army of Ravan at Lanka. When Lord Ramachandra, uh, with Lanka, the Ravan, the soldiers fighting, he also used his saranga bow. So the word, the prefix "su," which is in the front of the 
Sudarshan chakra. Su means very nice. And Darshana means observation. So by the grace of Lord Krishna's Sudarshan Chakra, everything can be seen very nicely. And nothing remains in darkness. So in this way, Lord Krishna and Arjuna crossed over the great region of darkness, covering the material universe. So Arjuna then saw the effulgence of light, which is called the Brahma Jyoti. The Brahma Jyoti is outside the covering of the material universe. It cannot be seen with our present eyes. So this Brahma Jyoti is sometimes called avyakta, means unmanifested, means you can't, you cannot see it. So, this spiritual effulgence, this is the, the goal of the impersonalists. They want to enter into that effulgence called the Brahma Jyoti. Sometimes the impersonalists are also called Vedantists. Vedantist. Vedantist. Mm. So the Brahma Jyoti is also described as being unlimited and unfathomed. And when Lord Krishna and Arjuna reached the, the region of the Brahma Jyoti, Arjuna could not tolerate the, the bright effulgence and he closed his eyes. So Lord Krishna and Arjuna they reached the Brahma Jyoti and it's described in a scripture called the Hari Vamsa. And in that literature it describes that Krishna informed Arjuna. He told Arjuna, he said, the, the glaring effulgence, the light that you are seeing, is my bodily rays. And 
Lord Krishna addressed Arjuna as the chief of the descendant of Bharata. And he said, this Brahma Jyoti is I, myself. Just like the sun disk and the sunshine cannot be separated. So Lord Krishna and his bodily rays, the Brahma Jyoti, cannot be separated. So Lord Krishna says that the Brahma Jyoti is he himself. And this is stated also in the book called the Hari Vamsa. So the Brahma Jyoti is a combination of the very minute particles known as spiritual sparks which are actually living entities. So in the Vedas, the, the, the word soham, soham means Krishna saying, I am the Brahma Jyoti. So it can also be applied to the living entities. Some living entities also claim to belong to the Brahma Jyoti. So Lord Krishna said, this Brahma Jyoti is an expansion of my spiritual energy. So that the Brahma Jyoti is beyond the region of my external energy. Krishna's external energy is called the Maya Shakti. So when we're in the material world, it's not possible to experience the Brahma Jyoti. So in the material world, this effulgence is not manifest. But in the spiritual world is there. So that is the purport of the words Vyakta of Vyakta. Oh, no, no, sorry, forget that. In the Bhagavad Gita it is said both these energies are eternally manifested. Both these energies, meaning the material energy and the spiritual energy. All right, we'll stop here today. We'll ask if there's any questions. Hari Bal? Yes.
Are there any questions? Yeah, yes. Oh, Shamashaki 是有骄傲之心吗？还是教育我们呢？嗯，Hare And she's asking why Arjuna forget for, for, forgot that whoever if Krishna want to protect someone, no one nobody can harm them. If Krishna want to kill someone and them, nobody can protect them. And since Krishna is right there beside uh, Arjuna, but Arjuna has for Forgotten this is that Arjuna is uh, is proud, or Arjuna is simply to educate us, educate us. Well, you have to understand that Arjuna doesn't like to take service from Krishna. Um, you Arjuna doesn't like to take service from Krishna. He likes to give service to Krishna. So he doesn't come to Krishna every time when there's some trouble. Oh Krishna, you have to help me. Oh Krishna, you have to do this for me. Oh Krishna, oh Krishna. You know, that's not the mood of the pure devotee. So so you have to understand how to approach. Arjuna is an intimate friend with Krishna, but it's not that Arjuna thinks him that he wants Krishna to always wait on him hand and foot and take care of all his problems. You have to understand the Lord's pastimes. Sometimes Lord Krishna will put Arjuna into illusion. He'll arrange for Arjuna to go into illusion, just like at Kurukshetra when Krishna spoke Bhagavad Gita. Mm, and similarly here, in this particular case, although Lord Krishna was present in Dwarka, Arjuna was thinking he could uh, do something which Krishna had not done. So this was a pastime which is all arranged by Lord Krishna's potency to arrange pastimes. Uh, 
，呃，所以这是 Krishna 的能量的安排。As we heard, Lord Krishna comes to this world. He plays the part of an ordinary person. He doesn't come to play the part of God so much. Although he does sometimes, but usually he likes to just be an ordinary person. Mm. Is that enough? She she she's asking, uh, during this period, uh, during this pastime, uh, whether whether Krishna has spoken Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna during this period. I don't know. I don't know the chronology. 我不知道。Does it make a difference? 嗯，那这有什么？这会有什么不同吗？如果讲讲，我再翻译。Krishna spoke Bhagavad Gita, but Arjuna still went out to fight the battle of Kurukshetra, and he had Krishna drive his chariot. Although Krishna is the supreme lord. But still, Arjuna allowed Krishna to drive his chariot. Okay. Uh, say, um, um, uh, 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 um, well, you have to offer it in your mind. And you have to pray to Krishna that because I'm in this condition, I'm not able to cook myself. So please forgive me and allow me to offer you this. Please accept this food. Please, pure allow me to continue to eat your prasadam, your remnants. Now,那这时候呢，呃，就是他的祈祷可以是这这样说，嗯，因为我现在处于这种情况之下，呃，我也有我自己不能做饭，请原谅我，请允许我为你做供奉。请接受这食物，请并且允许我去荣耀你圣人的祭语。嗯，下一个问题是，书记如果，德达西、迪麦亲爱的各位老师们，请问这段时间在马普的绕拜和绕拜各位的山有什么区别？半世人会参加吗？
，嗯，绕拜高尔登山是在崇拜 Krishna， 绕拜拿拉堆谷是在崇拜主 Chaitanya。嗯。Navadri Parikrama is performed usually over nine days. There are nine islands to visit. And you should visit each island, and each island is connected with a particular kind of devotional service. In the Govardhan Parikrama, you can perform Govardhan Parikrama in a few hours. It's 22 kilometers round the Govardhan hill. So people generally walk around the hill in, you know, four hours or five hours or six hours, depending on how long they take to stop and how much how fast they walk or how slow they walk. Lobekoran Hmm. Are the demi then she answered the de demigods there? Yes, the demigods, they, they go over downhill. The demigods also are, are there. And Navadri Parikrama, the demigods come from time to time, they will come to take part in the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya or different incarnations of the Lord who come there in Navadri. At that time, demigods may also come to join in their pastimes. Then what should be our mood in taking part in uh, internet parikrama? Well, yes. you, sh you should try to focus on hearing and learning about the different pastimes in the different places. Yes, we we like to remember the different places connected with the pastimes of Lord Krishna. It's very purifying for us. Even though you're not able to come there directly, but just by remembering these places, you get a lot of benefit, a lot of purification. Okay. 下一个问题是,那继续问,您对于即将来临的主彩丹尼亚选先日,小组带新人部活动有什么建议和训示呢? 感恩。What will be uh, your 
uh, instruction and suggestion on the upcoming uh, group name. We uh, there are a uh, new parties uh, in the group, and we celebrate the festival. Well, let them come and also celebrate with you. Let them come and hear about the pastime, what, why we're celebrating, that it's a, the birthday or the appearance, the day in which Lord Chaitanya appears in this world. So it's a very nice occasion to remember Lord Chaitanya and his activities and to do service for Lord Chaitanya. Yao Hmm. Yeah, I mean, fest, every festival, every uh, occasion like that, it, it has a lot of spiritual energy and uh, people come, they can pick up on that spiritual energy and they can become also uh, interested in taking up devotional service. It's a very nice opportunity for them to start doing Krishna consciousness. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Shaikhundi Sh Sita Dasi. Uh this question is not uh, related to today's um Yeah, it's okay. Okay. 当生物遵从至尊主的旨意行动，还要承担业报吗？因为Brigu冒犯了主，所以在下一世投生为猎人Jara，受尽杀死了Krishna。Obeisance to Guru, since Brigu Muni perform this pastime and he played the, this role, it is arranged by Supreme Lord. Why? Brigu Muni kicked the chest of Lord Vishnu. And this is the greatest offense. Since the living entity has followed the will of the Supreme Lord, to, then uh, will they have to carry, to take karmic reaction for that? Because Lord Brigu Muni offend Lord, therefore in the next life, he took birth as hunter Jara and shoot the arrow and killed Krishna. Yes, but then then Jara went back to Godhead. Yes, but then Jara went back to Godhead. 
Lord Krishna arranged that Jara fired the arrow into his foot and then Lord Krishna told Jara that now he could go back to Godhead and Lord Krishna sent him immediately back to Godhead. Mm -hmm. Lord Krishna had to arrange for his disappearance from the world and he arranged that Jara would play a part in his disappearance. And after he played that part, then Lord Krishna sent Jara back to Godhead. Jara Why the Supreme Lord uh, said uh, the foot, the foot of Brigamuni has uh, re removed all his uh, sins. Since the Supreme Lord is eternally transcendental and absolute, then how can the Supreme Lord has any sins? Yes, you're right. This is just pastime. I don't know. I don't know where you, where it says that. Where does it say that the Lord sins? What's a, where is that from? I never heard this before. Mm. Then we move on and let, let her to answer the question. Yeah. Uh, uh, the question since the when the Supreme Lord descended, uh, the Supreme Lord, the extension of the Supreme Lord descend in the in the material world with the Supreme Lord Himself, and they exist simultaneously. Why Lord Vishnu still want to see Lord Krishna? Because they, since they are already together. It's, this is pastime. You cannot understand the mind of the Lord. Lord Mahavishnu is residing in the Kasha Ocean and Krishna is residing in Dwarka. So Mahavishnu wants to see Lord Krishna. I don't see anything wrong with that. Okay. Chizunju 
uh, the Supreme Lord has performed, the, uh, has uh, take the role of a limited ordinary person and his horses uh, then his his horses seems to lost themselves but still the starting chakra of the supreme lord is very excellent and divine how can that be e equal to the ordinary role of the Supreme Lord. How can that be equal? Yeah. What? And how can that... Mm, how can what be equal? Because uh, the Lord, uh, Lord Krishna has uh, Pretend to be an ordinary person. Oh yeah. And his horses also pretend to. Oh yes. Uh, and still, but the Sturgeon chakra is excellent in this this dispel all the darkness. Uh huh. So she 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 thinks she thinks that. Uh, because Lord Krishna, mm, so the, the Sudarshan Chakra, mm -hmm. this well, pasta. Well, Lord Krishna wants to show how how he can use his Sudarshan Chakra. He's showing the power okay. of the Sudarshan Chakra. Shi 聖典不叫他談第十篇八十九章五十四到五十六描述至尊主的愛靈是能量 in Srimad Bhagavatam 10.89, verse 8 to 9, describe the consort of the Supreme Lord is his energy Sri. But in Bhagavatam, 10.89 verse 54 to 56 described the consort of the Supreme Lord is his energy pretty. So Sri and pretty are different energies of the Supreme Lord. The Supreme Lord has 16 main, main energy, prominent energy. And, and the, the 16 prominent energy plus Class magnified ten thousand times. The ex then that is the gold piece. So she's asking, oh, so this sixteen prominent energy was there specific 
function. Well, the Lord has many different potencies. Yes, there are, there are different names for these different potencies. Each of the potencies, just like there's a potency for pastimes, there's a potency for maintaining the, the different planets or the universe and the spiritual world. There's a potency for arranging the, the flowers to bloom for the pleasure of Krishna. There's a potency for the wind to blow so that it's pleasing to Krishna. There's a potency where to arrange the night and the day, different times of the day for Krishna's pastimes. Like this, there are many, there are 16 main different potencies.就有不同的名字比如说有它的消时光的能量 以及，呃，Krishna上面消时光的时候，白天白昼和黑夜的不同的交替，所以主有十六种主要的能量。OK。嗯，OK。好，下一个问题。Vishnu是四臂，为什么说是八臂？ Okay. Okay. 不同的Vishnu有不同的手臂数量,就像Brahma的头像吗? Yes, there are different Vishnu forms. Some Vishnu forms have more arms. Generally, Vishnu in the spiritual world has four arms. But sometimes there are other forms which may have more arms. 是的,Vishnu有不同的形体,他们一般都是四臂,但也有别的Vishnu的形象,有更多的臂膀的数量。Yeah, that's first special to facilitate different pastimes, the Lord will have more arms. 协助他的不同的消失光，所以他就有不同的展示出不同的臂膀的数量。嗯。那为什么Vishnu触碰了Brigu，还没Brigu没有得到净化，还必须在下石头上为猎人？Why Brigu touched Lord Vishnu still? He is not purified. He has to take birth again next time. Well, he didn't please Lakshmi, the goddess of fortune, who was his consort. And because of the manner in which he touched Lord Vishnu, because it was not very gentle or pleasing, so he had to get some reaction for that. 其实因为他没有取悦老师女性女神主的伴侣而且也是由于他触碰主的这个方式并不是温文尔雅和悦令人愉悦的所以他为此要承担这个反应 Ananta Shisha是Sankarsha的扩展 为什么是蓝黑的皮肤? 
。散摊扇是白色的皮肤，蓝黑色不是 Krishna 才有皮肤呢。Since Ananda Shisha is the expansion of Lord Santarsha, and Lord Santarsha is white color, why Ananda Shisha is bluish color? Well, because he's at the bottom of the universe. Uh, I mean, it could be. I I don't know. I'm speculating. I don't really know. I've never heard anywhere an explanation why he's blue, but we have to understand the Nantashesha's at the bottom of the universe. He's holding all the planets on his on his hoods. The Ananda Shisha, uh, he is sitting on the bottom of the universe. His head is holding all the planets on his hoods. Um, the story. Um, he guesses that due to the Ananda Shisha is sitting on the bottom of the universe, so he is blue. But that's my speculation. I don't really know. But Sankashan is white because that's the color of Lord Balaram. Sankashan is the expansion coming from Lord Balaram. Santarshan is Balarama, the light of Balarama, so Santarshan is black skin. But everything goes on by the arrangement of the Lord, the Lord's desire. These different expansions have different colors. It's a desire in the plan of Lord Krishna. 所以一切都都是要取决于至尊主的意愿和安排。啊，呀？嗯，李李大让你 see 的，您举手了，就，请您说。Oh, hi, Krishna. 嗯，请白姑，请白翻译，请白所有的奉献。就是刚才顾客问我那个什么罪恶的问题，就是这个布鲁布踢了这个主的这个胸膛，然后就说他的嘴清除了主的这个所有的罪恶。这一句是在八十九章第十到第十一师节的那个译文，就是这个译文是，呃，我念最后一句哈，今日我的主人，我已成西域女士那可是你的唯一的避暑所。他将欣然答应居住在我的胸膛，因为你的足以根除我胸膛的所有罪恶。So it comes in the purport. It, it's not there in actual text. It means it's one of the acharyas is commenting maybe like that. 因为不是在，诗集当中是在要旨当中。所以这意味着那呃，所有的阿叉呀们，这是阿叉们的评述。Of course, we accept the Acharya's words as being as being authorized, but the Acharyas sometimes they will differ. They give different explanations for different pastimes. 当然，我们也接受阿叉人们都是权威，但是不同的阿叉人们，他们对不同消息方不同的解释。Where was that purport again? What was the place?、Uh, chapter eighty-nine, verse ten to eleven. Eighty-nine. 到十一是是要旨。要旨 purport。译文。Mm. Tenth canto, huh? Eh? 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 Tenth canto
第十篇八十九章第十到十一十节。Okay, let me look through that. I'll check on it. 牧师说他会回去，呃，看，看一看。嗯嗯嗯，好的。那翻译再打扰你一下，就是我第一个问题问的就是那个古瑞古就是踢了主的这个胸膛，他是为了展示克什塔的逍遥时光，他才踢了主的胸膛。为什么就是他是执行了主的这个旨意？他还是承担了夜报了。刚才咕噜好像我没听到，没听清楚咕噜是怎么回答的，可不可以麻烦你再问问咕噜？谢谢您。Oh, she's asking. Um, since Brigu Muni kicked the Lord Vish, the chest of Lord Vishnu is following the will of the Supreme Lord, then why Brigu Muni has to take take the karmic reaction for for? Following the will of the Supreme Lord. Because if he, did, if we thought there was no reaction, then we would also think we can do whatever we like. Um, if we don't have any news, then we can think about what we want to do. We are expecting it. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, it, it, certain things which you do, you may say, you may say, I'm doing this devotional service, just like Parasurama. Parasurama killed the Kshatriya race twenty-one times. But after he did it, he had to do atonement. Um, 就像 Parashuram， 他铲除了沙地利阶层二十一次，但之后呢，他还要为此而忏悔。哦，那谢谢姑姑。就是刚才那个另外那个问题，就是说到那个至尊主的伴侣。至尊主的伴侣应该是同一种能量，为什么在第九十节描述的那个能量是施瑞这种能量，而在五十四到五十五六这个时节里面，又写的是主的伴侣的能量名字叫这个主尸体呢？这是两种不同的能量，那主的伴侣不是应该是同一种能量的出现吗？法律规是那麻烦您的翻译，谢谢姑姑。Since， 嗯。Uh, the council of uh, Lord Vishnu should be only one energy. So why there are two energies? One is Sri, one is Priti. Why should there only be one? one? Why can't there be two? Usually we see Lakshmi, uh, Lord Narayan or Vishnu, he is worshipped with two energies. Bu, uh, there's the Bu potency and the and both potent and Bu and, and Shri. Bu meaning the earthly potency and Shri meaning the the beauty potency. Mm, 而诗意代表就是是美丽的。好，谢谢咕噜。And you see also that Lord Krishna is worshipped with Radha, and they have Lalita and Vishaka. They have the two gopis there, and then in Mayapur they have Astasaki. They have eight gopis, eight principal gopis. And Lord Krishna in Dwarka, he has two principal wives. There's Rukmini and Satyabhama. There's many other wives, but Rukmini and Satyabhama are the two principal wives. Krishna, 
有八位牧牛、牧鸟和 Radha Krishna 在一起，而在多尔嘎城，主 Krishna 有两位主要的皇后 Rukmini 和 Satya Bama。So, uh, you know, I'm reading that purport in the 10th canto, in the 89th chapter, and Prabhupada talks about how, he said, some brahmanas are very proud that a uh, Brigamuni could touch the feet of Lord Vishnu with his foot. He could touch the chest of Lord Vishnu with his foot. But Prabhupada says it was a great it was a great offense because he kicked Lord Vishnu. But Lord Vishnu did not take the offense seriously. Hmm. So what was her question about it? Let, let me check. She was talking about karmic karma. I don't see any mention about karma for this. Uh Can you translate it? Uh, she said because in the purport says that that in the in his next life he has uh, took birth as uh, the hunter Jara. This is because um, in the life of Brigu Muni he has offended Lord Vishnu. Oh, not in this chapter. In some other place. Huh? Okay, in the 11th canto, yeah. Okay, yeah. So it says like that. Okay. Anyway, okay, so so yeah. He 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 gets some karma for it, but that karma is to help to accelerate him going back to Godhead. So the Lord arranges the Lord arranges these things to bring his devotees back to Godhead quicker. 嗯，所以主就安排了这这些来把他的奉献者，快速的，嗯，快速的让他们更快一点的回到神州那里。Just like in the sixth canto, you can read about uh, Chitraketu, how he laughed at Lord Shiva, and he got cursed by Parvati to become Vritasura. Mm -hmm. 
So he became a demon, but it was, it was the Lord's arrangement to help him to go back to Godhead quicker. What is the difference between Niriti and Yamaraj? They're different demigods. They're doing different service. I, I'm not very really sure about what the actual service of Niriti, what he does. I have to, I'd have to look that up. I'll have to do a search on it. It probably be mentioned some other place in second canto or somewhere. But there are many, many millions of demigods and they all have different services. So Yamaraji's service is to punish the sinful. But I don't know what Neriti does. I have to do a search on it. Okay. So, in order to see the Krishna, why Lord Vishnu has put the Brahmana into a, a painful condition? Is that the karma, karma of this Brahmana? So, in these circumstances... Well, you, you could say, it, it's, but you could say it's also mercy that the Brahmana has an opportunity by the grace of Lord Krishna, he's going to get all his children back. So then you'll have more faith in Lord Krishna. So, We have to understand the Brahmana is a, he's supposed to be a person in the mode of goodness. So the mode of goodness, he's supposed to have transcending, hankering and lamentation. The Lord Krishna is giving him an opportunity to purify himself, get freed of so much attachment. So he was a king and he wanted a son, 
and he had so many wives but no son. Then finally he got a son, he's so happy, and then the son died, and then he was lamenting so much. <laughs> And so the experience allowed him to come to the transcendental platform and realize the temporary nature of the material world and how there's so much distress in the material world. Mm-hmm. 而为了善言友情的孝顺，为了拯救朋友而住那的生命，才去顺便救了Brahmana的孩子吗？Is that because the Brahmana is not polite for to Lord Krishna? Therefore, Lord Krishna didn't go to save his children, and in order. To perform the pastime of friend, friendly, uh, being a friend to Arjuna and to save Arjuna's life. Yes, Lord Krishna allowed the pastime to take place. It's an important pastime. He brought the children back from the 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 area the 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 place where Mahavishnu resides. It's beyond the material universe. It's a place of liberation. But he, he brought them back to Dwarka, which is the holy land, which is the place of Lord Krishna's eternal pastimes. In Dwarka, it's not different from the spiritual world. So, Krishna 嗯，就把他的儿子从马哈贝什努那里，就带回来了。本来他的儿子去了解脱之地，而解脱之地是超越了这个物质世界的一个领域，而主奎什纳的地方是多尔卡城，是一个圣地，是主永恒的消失光的
要是空，这样你的所有的麻烦就会变得无足轻重了。嗯哼。So there, no more question. Okay. Woman Ganshi Guru Mani Mataji, Woman Prani Ganshi Sir, the functions of LinkedIn. Woman Jufuniman, Wanshan Rui, Chang Song Kwaila, Shula Prabhupada Ki Jai. Jai. Thank you, Mara. Shula Prabhupada Ki Jai.